What's up with Bitcoin? Is there more pain ahead? Let's analyze Bitcoin using Ichimoku. So here's the weekly chart for Bitcoin. We can see the bottom at the $3,782 level in March 2020. Weeks later, at the 8700 levels, the Tenkan Sen crossed above the Kijun Sen, so there's a bullish crossover. It made a rally towards the 9200 level and broke above the Kumo. The Chiku Span also made a Kumo breakout. So now we have a proper buy setup for Bitcoin at this point. The Tenkan Sen is above the Kijun Sen and the price is above the Kumo. There was also a bullish Kumo twist ahead. Price moved sideways from June to October 2020, so that's about 5 months. Price moved strongly towards the 41,000 levels and then it made a brief pause due to the large gap between the price and the Tenkan Sen. So whenever you see a large gap between the Tenkan Sen support line, and the price, you will expect price to move sideways for a bit to gain equilibrium. After that 4-week consolidation, the price of Bitcoin surged towards the 64,000 level. We plot the Fibonacci extension levels and we find that the price surge to 41,000 from 3,000 levels was equal to the second price surge from the retracement towards the 64,000 level. This is the law of equality at work where AB is equal to CD. So that's the A is the low and then B is the high, C is the retracement and then we have the extension at D. Once again, the price created the gap with the Tenkan Sen and the Tenkan Sen had overextended itself away from the Kijun Sen. This created a C pattern. Now we all know that Ichimoku is all about equilibrium. Therefore, price must find its way back to achieve this equilibrium to close the gap between the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen lines. Whenever you see that C pattern in your charts, you know that price will tend to move sideways or price will correct downwards. In this case, the correction was both in terms of price and in time. After a sideways consolidation, the price of Bitcoin dropped towards the 29,000 levels. But why do you think price bounced off 29,000? At present, we are seeing a possible return of the Chico Span to the Kijun Sen support line at 35,000. The Chico Span is plotted 26 periods behind the latest closing price. When the Chico Span is above the Tenkan Sen, the Kijun Sen, and the Kumo, any of these three serve as support to Chico Span. The Chico Span bounced off the Tenkan Sen line, which was at the 29,000 levels. And then price broke above the price bars and proceeded to 64,000. At present, we are seeing a possible return of the Chico Span to the Kijun Sen support line at 35,000. If we look towards the Senku B at the bottom of the Kumo, the support is also at 35,000. This is based on the weekly chart. Right now, price seems to be holding above the Senko A line, which is the top of the Kumo. There's still a possibility that we will see a strong bounce from here. If the Tenkan Sen crosses above the Kijun Sen and price bounces above the Senko A line with huge volume, then our uh, analysis that 35,000 will be revisited is negated. Now let's move to the daily chart and we see that the Kumo is starting to make a bearish twist. Uh, the bad news is that the price is also below the 200 EMA line. The Tenkan Sen also went below the Kijun Sen line, which is a bearish crossover. 
So I like to find confluences in systems to find confirmation in the direction of the price. In the 4-hour chart, we see a head and shoulders pattern with a target of 35,000. Note that this is a short-term analysis. This is merely my opinion and should not be taken as a recommendation to buy or sell anything. We will update our analysis if the factors or elements in the chart change. Thank you very much.